Okay, okay. The counting, collation, and the results are going on about the country. As a party, we've been updating you about some worrying developments. Um, we are here at the duty coordinator, Lieutenant Retired Colonel Bablolati. We are here with the minority leader of parliament and MP elect for Tamale South, Honorable. Haruna Idrusu. We are here with our election director, uh, member of parliament for Yapi Busibu, and other leading members of the party. Our national youth organizer is here. And so, first of all, our minority leader, Honorable Haruna Idrusu, will address you um, when he's done. Our director of operations, Lieutenant Retired Kenny Bellulati, will also address you. So, leader, the floor is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you for your continuous expose on many of the happenings in our country. Our country's electoral commission, per its mandate in Article 45, conducted and supervised presidential and parliamentary elections in Ghana across the 275 constituencies in Ghana divided across the 16 regions of Ghana. Evidence available to us formal from, from collated pink sheets from polling stations across the country and specific to the constituencies in Ghana puts the NDC in lead with 140 seats, parliamentary seats won, 140. That makes us the majority party whilst we wait for the declaration of the presidential outcome. Understandably, you should know why we have the parliamentary results and we do not have the presidential results yet. With the presidential results, the chairperson of the electoral commissioner is the returning officer. With parliamentary results per CI 127, I'm holding a copy, the electoral commissioner appoints returning officers and counting is done at various polling stations.